Hello everyone, this is a review of the Onion Skin Journal. You are appreciated, you are loved, you are a miracle. This is the truth. The truth is always love. So this journal, A5 size, was sent to me for free uh, with the intention of me doing a review here on my channel for it. And so here we are, opening this up for the very first time. The packaging was absolutely beautiful. I actually really love their traditional snake eating itself logo that you see on the journals. This one, however, is a bit different. This has a map on the, the cover. It's like the traveler's journal. So my initial impressions, of course, were it's just, it's a beautiful book. Um, this is a book that I had wanted to purchase and it had been on my radar for quite some time now but admittedly it's a bit expensive uh, and to take a chance on a journal that I wasn't sure if I would want to use or not um, it just felt like a little too much um, so when the offer came to to receive it for free I of course was very excited for that so what makes this journal so special is that it's made from onion skin paper, which is just the most beautiful, crinkly, translucent, it's like vellum paper, but maybe a little bit more wavy. I've actually used onion skin paper quite a bit for my typewriting. Uh, it's a very popular paper to type upon. So according to this little bookmark that came with it, onion skin is an elusive paper prized by calligraphers, writers, and poets. Onion skin paper has had a mystique surrounding it for this last century. Very difficult to find, its unique properties are coveted by paper enthusiasts around the world for its slightly translucent, lightweight, thin quality that is deliciously durable. And it is just that. It is very durable, <laughs> even though it feels so, it feels like an onion skin. It actually has a very similar texture and crinkly sound to it. It was very nice to write upon with my fountain pens. They, they of course, behaved very nicely on it. You might not get as much shading or sheening uh, on this paper as you would perhaps with Tomoe River paper or Rodia for that matter. But there's kind of a, a fun like pop out of the ink that you get kind of like when you're writing on vellum paper. So the book didn't lay flat, um, or at least as flat as I would like it to be, and I didn't want to break the spine too much because I noticed that um, it looked like maybe uh, where the 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 binding is there were some I was just worried that the the threads would rip through the paper if I pushed it too much to its limits uh, but using a clip worked really well and thank you to a wonderful person online that sent that clip to me in a recent package so one of the things that you'll notice is that it that this paper is extremely translucent so I don't think you would want to write on both sides of it it's just there's too much ghosting um, I personally love the look of ghosting I think it's rather romantic <laughs> I don't know something kind of endearing about it but do keep that in mind you will not be able to write on the reverse page I do like that it came with a writing board and I appreciate the thin, the small ledger lines. Uh, I write small so I prefer having those lines closer together than further apart. I do think it would be a nice touch to add in a sheet of blotting paper as well as I feel like maybe well, I don't know. Maybe it doesn't take that long to dry up on this paper. It seems like something that would take a long time to dry, but perhaps not. So I wanted to switch it up with a different pen just to see how another color will 
respond. This is the Caveco Brass Sport with a fine nib uh, and the ink is Diamine Deep Forest. The prior pen was a Pilot Custom 823 with a fine nib and the ink was Diamine Prussian Blue. I don't notice any feathering on this paper, but there is a bit of, I feel like the line doesn't go down as fine as it has on other pages, other papers. I feel like it spreads out just a very slight bit, but not in a bad way. But I feel like my pilot fine nib is writing a little bit more like a medium. I really love this linen cover. It's just quite beautiful and it feels really good to hold. I have to admit though, I am a little intimidated by having a journal like this. It feels, it feels like a lot and I can, it, you know, well, well designed and beautiful quality, but there's something that I, I feel hesitant to use it. I feel like it's too nice for, for me. <laughs> that, that filling the pages, I worry about ruining it somehow. Uh, but I think overall, it's just, it really is beautiful and it feels so nicely made. I really like the bookmark that came with this, or the, the ribbon rather. It's just a very well made sturdy ribbon and I know that seems like a silly thing maybe to point out but so often these journals come with ribbons that unravel the very first day and they feel like they're just gonna fall apart and um, so this one is definitely a nice solid durable ribbon. One of the things that was expressed to me in regards to the Onion Skin Journal is that as you fill up the pages, it, the paper itself kind of morphs and um, buckles or bends or waves or I don't I don't know quite how to describe it, but it they reflect how you use the paper, and they reflect that the pages have been filled up, and so I think this would just be an absolutely beautiful journal to complete. So thank you to the Onion Skin Journal for giving me this opportunity. This is a beautiful book.